Hi, everyone. We continue with the 100 mistakes that foreigners make whilst living and working in China. And today we are at failure number six, the failure to understand the potential and magnitude of digital business. With the current development of internet technology, the scale of the digital business in China is growing fast. The past decade has seen a rapid increase in the demand for online shopping opportunities in China. And with over 900 million internet users, the number of online shop shoppers has actually been increasing exponentially. Now, as the 14th double 11 came to an end, what was it, last Friday, depressed consumer sentiment in China and the huge shift in consumption habits meant that this year's shopping festival did not reach the feverish growth of the previous years. In an unforeseen move, neither Tmall nor JD.com announced their gross merchandise volume results for this year's Double Eleven, which, if some of you don't know, is China's Singles Day. Tmall only reported that their sales volume was the same as last year, which reached around 540 billion renminbi, um, about 74 billion US dollars, while JD.com indicated that their performance surpassed the industry growth rate and reached a record high after last year's 349 billion renminbi gross merchandise value. Now, Again, no specific numbers were provided by either organization. In addition, the live gala ceremonies that we've seen on uh, stream uh, on streamline um, on streamline uh, programs did not occur either, and this is possibly to to COVID nineteen um, regulations. What do we know regarding Singles Day, the biggest shopping day of the year in China? What we do know is that the shopping fever hasn't cooled down completely. Tmall did disclose that in the first hour of the festival on October 31st, the turnover of 102 brands exceeded 100 million renminbi. Despite only launching its commerce functionality in 2020, Douyin's gross merchandise value increased 629% year on year on the first day of this year's double 11. It's clear that newcomers are catching up fast in their shift from content sharing to e-commerce. Since each platform comes with their own bankable influencers like Doyin's crazy little brother Yang, who boasts over 100 million followers, this is likely to be pivotal in the growing sales. Now, one thing I want to highlight is what has been released uh, in regards to the consumption trends. Now, Tmall reported that outdoor sports, pet supplies, collectible toys and jewelry are the new four pillar industries. Traditionally, the four power pillar industries were beauty, FMCG, consumer electronics and clothing. But again, let me reiterate what is now the new four pillars. It's outdoor sports, pet supplies, collectible toys and jewelry. In those four categories, or sorry, within those four categories, 358 brands exceeded sales of 100 million renminbi. So you can't tell me that it's not working, that e-commerce is not successful. There is tremendous opportunity there. So that's Tmall. JD.com has eight new consumption trends, including more spending on products that offer long-term returns, particularly in health, wellness, education, and environmentally friendly labels. Other trends from JD.com is on new releases and new items like that, that bring comfort, uh, particularly in the home decor sector, like rocking chairs, scented candles, et cetera. China chic products inspired by traditional culture also led the way at JD.com. So China chic is the modern take on China cheap house, jewelry, etc. Okay. So I want people to realize 
that there are cons consumption trends, there are increasing numbers, and obviously it's interesting that two of the largest platforms did not release their figures for this year's Singles Day. But we can see through other types of trends the success that certain brands have had. Now, if you would like to discuss your China e-commerce business, then DM me and we can schedule a free complimentary call. If you enjoy the content of this video, click the subscribe button so you can receive more content like this every day or connect with me on LinkedIn so you can see all the other content that we produce as well. And if you want to learn more about what I do and what we do at Woodburn Accountants and Advisors, then check out our website at woodburnglobal.com. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I look forward to speaking with you. Have a great afternoon and goodbye.